Hey guys, Delt here. I started leveling up a rogue yesterday, and before I even got to level 15, I pushed into Wanderer, which honestly felt a little difficult because people are already wearing Bis at that point. And I didn't even have all my perks yet, so I actually had to stop and like go into ice caves for a little while. But bossing is so good for getting gold, and it's so good for getting different items. And I know I've already made so many videos on this, but even when you don't pull from the pile, you could still get some pretty awesome stuff. Also, please ignore all of the times that I whiff with the cast Usually when I play Rogue, I use a short sword of rapier or a Chris dagger, but this is what I had. I think it was like level eight or nine here, and I'm not used to Castellan at all. Also, as a side note, for just more information about Troll if you want it that I just figured out recently, he does his slam after every five attacks, and that's the one where you need to get away from him. So if you have a high move speed build, you could actually push one more hit every once in a while if you're counting the amount of attacks he does. And you'll see during some of the times I'm actually trying to put in a third hit if he does his downward slam right before he does his two hander. I end up missing a bunch of them, but it's actually if you're trying to push your DPS even harder, that's another thing you could do with Troll. Like right here, I wasn't counting, but this was his fifth one, so I could have just jumped and did one more step. All right, and here we get our first legendary, a Pavis, which I know that these aren't technically worth picking up money-wise. Like for all of these slots, I think I could sell it in the marketplace for roughly 400 gold, which is not a lot when you're thinking about how many slots this is actually taking up. But if I decide not to sell it, I can maybe just trade it to my ranger at some point and do something dumb, like not let somebody come into a room and hit them with a spear or something. I don't know. All of that just to say, I'm keeping it. And then we started to pull from the pile too. And we got a pretty good bonk staff. I'm pretty sure this sold for like 300-ish gold. I don't remember for sure, but it was around there. And then this one was kind of a dud. We got some sellables, but that was it. And then our third pull gave us some legendary champion armor, which is a whole lot better than the Pathis. I could probably sell this for like 600 gold, I think. So with that, I just organized and picked everything up. I stopped pulling and just decided that we're going to get out of here with this. When we came up here, we actually ran into a Slayer fighter and I decided just to wait behind the corner for him, see if he came out. If he did, I was going to try to fight him. But 
but I only have 94 health right now and I'm not wearing a chest plate and that did over half my health with just one crossbow shot so uh nah for some reason he stopped chasing me though and just went back to where he was and so when I went back up a portal spawned and I just took it and left Alright, and then I just figured I'd throw this in here. This is after I hit level 15. I have a pretty decent kit on, and I ran into Cyclops' room because I heard someone was fighting it to find them dead on the ground. And one thing that I would definitely recommend doing is after you kill Cyclops, check whoever's on the ground here because usually when people try to do it, they have some pretty decent gear on, and this person did not disappoint. Also, I was going to take my chest off to run faster, but then I decided I didn't want to because I wanted the armor for when Rockfall happened. Also, if you're doing Cyclops on Rogue, double jump helps a lot. But what I would recommend more so than even double jump is to have back attack and poison weapons. Poison weapons just continually does damage, which helps you get through the phase. And back attack, you're going to be hitting him from behind. And with back attack, you're going to be hitting the Cyclops back during the rock ball phase, and so you'll just be able to get some more damage. I would also highly recommend either a Chris Dagger or a Rapier, just because they have longer reaches than a lot of the other daggers. And mistakes happen sometimes. At this point, we've been through three rock ball phases. I usually would recommend to just heal at this point in case someone's waiting outside the door for it to be finished. That way you know that you're healed up and ready to go if you need to take a fight. And honestly, neither of the actual Cyclops loot was too great. The mace was at least decent though. But this TTV bucket cart guy was a juicer. And so instead of actually pulling anything, I'm just going to take all of his loot and sell it in the market. I'll probably make more money this way, even though I won't be getting much AP for this round. But I just hit level 15. I just got my second stash tab open. I don't have much money at this point, so I might as well do this and save up a little bit and then keep pushing. For now, it's a rat's life, you know? All right, and after I loot this guy, I'm just going to get on out of here. And this is just going to be the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to show that doing bosses is definite easy ways of getting good loot. I got two legendaries from one troll. And honestly, if you run into a boss room and you see someone dead, especially Cyclops room, assume that they're geared and always check them because there's been a few times where this has happened. And I just wanted to show that it's definitely something to check for.
And as always, I hope you all enjoyed the content. If you did, please just give the video a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel. Anything and everything helps, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you who do it. My community Discord will be linked in the description below, so feel free to click that, come by, and say hey. And I hope that each and every one of you have a very great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.